How far will my signals go with this antenna? That is the question. It's a bit of a beast, so let's have a drive around and see. Now for this test today, we're gonna to use the Yaesu FT5D. It's in digital mode and it has a pretty cool feature which allows you to see the actual distance you are from other stations. So this is my home base station um, and we can actually see how far away as we move away from it. Basically, as we move away from my home base station, this little meter here will go up and show us the distance away from the home base in miles. And that just makes it super easy to do range tests. I love the digital features for that. It's nice and clean in here after all the off-road antics. I took it to the car wash. It took them about 45 minutes and they only charged me a tenner. Right, so we're just over the other side of my town now and we can see we are 1.4 miles away and we've still got a signal from the base station, which I kind of expect. It's not very far, 1.4 miles. But I am obviously using this little rubber duck antenna on this radio and I'm in the car, so that isn't bad. Shocking weather though today. I was gonna do a drone video today. It's a good job I chose to do this one instead. <laughs> right, so I'm in the next town now. Um, 3.1 miles away, still in the car with the rubber duck. No need to change over to the external antenna, which I've got on the car here. Um, you've seen the other video about that. Um, yeah, so all well and good, no problem. There would be no problem at all doing a two-way communication between um, this radio and the one at home from here. I am actually gonna go into this town, which is just around the corner here, um, because I wanna see, I just, I'm out of interest, I wanna see if I can get coverage into the town, um, even on a handheld, that'd be quite good. Typical, the way I choose to come, the crossing's down. Okay, so I'm in the town now, you can see it's pretty busy and built up, and there's loads of buildings and everything. Um, I'm not getting a thing. So, you know, bearing in mind this is the same distance, it's like three miles or something like that. Um, I could try putting the handheld outside, but it's raining and wet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flick over to the external antenna on the car and just see if that makes any difference. Right, there you go, it's connected and we're back. So that external antenna obviously makes all the difference there. Okay, let's carry on. Right, so I've just stuck the other antenna back on. Um, we're quite a while away now. Um, a little bit further on, hopefully we'll get a signal from the uh, base station there. I saw something, the green light flickered there. Let's just see, I've just come out of um, GM mode as well. So in the car might be a push, but we'll see, we'll see. Is it gonna work? There's definitely a signal there. Let's just put the, put the radio outside. Come on, you can do it. Test its waterproofness as well. Yeah! So yes, I mean four miles. It doesn't sound like a lot guys, but there's a hell of a lot of terrain between the two towns that I've just driven through over here. So lots of hills and everything else, um, definitely not line of sight. So if we actually go out of the GM mode, you'll actually see here the signal on a, on a real signal meter here. See look, it's still, it's still in the red. It's still, you know, a really strong signal from, from uh, four miles away. Okay, I'm in another location now. Funnily enough, where I really didn't think I'd be getting a signal out to, I am. It's only 5.4 miles away, but as I say, it is crazy, you know, what's in between. So just got out of the car to enjoy this nice bit of, bit of canal. This is Lee Valley Boat Centre, if any of you in the area know. And this canal goes for miles, it's the River Lee, so it just goes straight into London. So yeah, the other thing I was gonna say is if any of you guys have got ham licenses and you're interested in sort of doing this side of things and this, this Yaesu Fusion thing. So you've got to have a Yaesu radio with Fusion um, or C4FM is, is the actual correct term for the, for the digital mode. Um, 145325, if you're anywhere near me or not, because <laughs> these signals will go a lot further if you've actually got home base antennas. Um, so like not home base to you know portable radio like this we see this is working absolutely brilliantly here but if you've got a home base antenna as well you'll be able to pick me up from from miles away so if you're a ham and you've got a c4 fm radio yeah let's go to 145325 and see if we can yeah see if we can make contact my radio is in gm mode which then gives you this display you can basically see like other call signs on the screen so that's a good way of logging who's come up and everything else. Yeah, give it a go, what do you reckon? Let me know in the comments. This is crazy. And I think there's more rain to come. So that was fun, I'm back now and I didn't get wet. The Twizzy is actually, despite not having any 
sort of proper doors or windows, you actually stay pretty dry in the little car, so it's quite good. So the GM mode on Yaesu Fusion, the C4 FM GM mode, is, is actually a really useful feature. I really like it. I've made videos about this ages ago. I made a video about um, GM mode. It's like one of the first videos on the channel. So yeah, it's a really cool way of kind of keeping tabs on the activity of a, on a channel. So if, there's, if you've got a group of you that are using C4 FM radios, you can see all of the individual users listed on the screen with all their distances and as they move away all the distances change you can actually bring up like a compass and the heading kind of map screen that shows you how far away and what direction they are and if they move out of range they'll just disappear or they get greyed out on the screen so you could see how this could be really useful in like emergency situations where you have lots of people out in the field and you need to sort of keep tabs on you know have a snapshot of who's actually on at the same time without any kind of reliance on the internet or anything this is purely done through the air yes you have nailed this so back to the range test then well i actually just got bored driving around because nowhere no matter where i drive i'm going to pick up my signal unless i drive you know 10 plus 15 miles away which i'm not going to do in that little car because i probably probably won't be able to get back or find a charge point these days but it just goes to show you how far vhf signals that's what we're using here um the two meter amateur band it just goes to show you how far those signals will go needless to say if you want to muck around with stuff like this then you do need an amateur radio license i highly recommend doing it um, just get the basic foundation one to start with it, even if you're just slightly interested in radio just do it because it just makes things so much easier for experimentation and you'll meet some great people along the way as well and you'll be able to participate in the thing i was talking about earlier so yeah guys those of you that have got c4 fm i'll say it again 145 325 megahertz i'm going to leave the gm mode running on that frequency whilst i'm here and then i'll see you pop up if you're in range if not yeah be a good little fun little experiment see see who actually pops up on there it's always surprising but to finish up then because i know the range test we did it was like six miles that shows six miles that's not a great deal of distance at all i'm going to put a little contact in at the end which i've made on exactly the same base station setup and you can see a two-way conversation over about i don't think it's about 50 kilometers i don't know what that is in miles can't be bothered to work it out but it's a pretty long way for a radio contact anyway you look up on um yeah I accidentally, what I did, I put your details back to you in WhatsApp. Um, it's just not being used. I will never use it. So that's another rig I've got. Uh, yeah, I've got a few. So thanks to Aubrey M7 SDA um, for the little contact that we had there. Um, yeah, fantastic. And that was digital. I know digital can sound a little bit kind of robotic, um, but in this case, it actually made quite a bit of difference because there was a quite a little bit of, it was a bit of noise on, on his signal coming into me um, on normal FM mode. So by going over to digital, it just completely eradicated that and actually just made the contact a little bit more pleasant. That's why it's called Yaesu Fusion, because it kind of combines the two, FM and digital, so you can flip between the two pretty seamlessly um, and just see what sounds best to you for that particular time. That's a good way of doing things. So that brings us to the end of the video. How you found this one useful? Let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the uh, in the comments down below because I, I actually really enjoyed doing these sort of things. This brings back a bit of nostalgia to me. Little 13 year old Andy walking around with a radio around his estate seeing how far his signals would get. So yeah, it's all, all good fun. Also, don't forget if you want to have a play, stick your radio on 145.325 FM, C4 FM, put it in the group mode and uh, maybe see you there. Catch you next time. Thank you.